Today, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds confirmed that she plans to sign an executive order allowing convicted felons to vote. That move comes after Senate Republicans couldn't come to a consensus regarding language in a bill during the just completed 2020 session. KCA United reporter Lydia Vasquez shares how local activists are expressing disappointment and why one Siouxland lawmaker says he just couldn't get behind the measure. That's our top story tonight at 6. Iowa is the last state in the country with a lifetime ban on felon voting. A felon can petition the governor's office to have their rights restored, but that's not a guarantee. Local activists I spoke with say they're disappointed in the Iowa legislator's decision to drop a bill that returns voting rights to felons. ACLU of Iowa says the state's disenfranchisement law has been especially devastating to black communities across Iowa, saying, quote, one in 10 black adults cannot vote because of a felony conviction. This means entire communities have a reduced voice in our government, and it perpetuates the problems of a deeply flawed criminal justice system, end quote. Local NAACP President Ike Rayford says he's disappointed in the Iowa legislators' failure to come to an agreement on the issue of felon voting. When you commit a crime, you owe a debt to society. And, and we get that and we all recognize it and we accept that. Uh, when you've paid your debt to society, uh, there should be a pathway to becoming a citizen again. Rayford says current felon voting laws limits African American voices in Iowa. You're talking about the community and making change. Well, if I can't elect people who uh, think like me or, or, or are concerned about the things that I'm concerned about, then it, it creates a place of where I don't even feel like I belong. Iowa District 3 Senator Jim Carlin says Senate Republicans were working toward a consensus on the bill, but he says it was some of the language in the bill that prompted him to withdraw his support. My reluctance to support it presently is there was no provision for violent sexual crimes. Somebody who does that could get their voting rights back, and that's just not something I could, I could support. Carlin says he understands the importance of restoring a convicted felon's right to vote, but would have liked more time to fine-tune the way the bill was written. Carlin says the bill was still on the legislative table when Governor Reynolds announced the that she would put forth an executive order. Lydia Vasquez, KCAU 9 News.